In this video, I'm going to teach you how to test GraphQL APIs in a Visual Studio Code editor by using Rapid API Client. Today, more and more applications are using GraphQL APIs. When working with a GraphQL API, we need to query and test it to ensure it is running as expected. With the Rapid API VS Code client extension, we can test GraphQL APIs without leaving Visual Studio Code Editor. Let's see how we can test a GraphQL API in VS Code. The first step is to find a GraphQL API. If you already have a GraphQL API to test, you can skip this step and use that. Otherwise, uh, Rapid API Hub is a great medium to find APIs, which has thousands of public APIs you can use for your application. For this video, I'm using this GeoDB Cities GraphQL uh, API on Rapid API Hub. This API returns data about cities, regions, and countries. Make sure you are signed up to your Rapid API uh, Hub account. As you can see, I have already signed up in the top right corner. The next step is to use this API is to subscribe to this API. I have already subscribed to this API as I'm getting this test endpoint instead of subscribe to test uh, indication. This is a freemium API. Let's go back to our VS Code editor. Now click on the Rapid API icon in your sidebar. The client interface will open. Click on the plus icon uh, beside the three vertical dots in front of the request to create a new request. Now I'm going to select the post request method from this drop down menu and going to paste the GeoDB API's URL in this URL field right here. I'm going back to the API and going to copy this URL and going to paste it here. Let's name this request as testing. To call the API, we will also need to specify the headers. We require two headers for this request, the API key and the content type. So let's add the API key that we got from um, the API on Rapid API Hub. This is the API key. I'm going to copy this, paste it here, and similarly going to copy my Rapid API key that I got after subscribing to this API and placing it here in the header value. The next header is the content type. For GraphQL APIs, we need to set the content type to application slash JSON. So I am entering that content type and application slash JSON. After I've specified the headers, uh, let's add the GraphQL query uh, we want to test. So click on the body tab and select the GraphQL option right here you will see a field where you can enter the query moreover scroll down and notice that rapid api client automatically loads the api schema and docs let's do that click on schema here it is and now let's click docs here it is both are super helpful for writing graphql queries now in this query tab, I'm going to add the query. This is the query that I've added. This query will find the countries that match our prefix AME and return their name, capital, flag, and currency. When it's done, now let's hit this send button to send the request. I'm getting this 200 status. Uh, which shows that it's working perfectly normal. Now your queries may also require variables for that after you add the query you will see the variables in the section below where you can specify its values. Right here I'm going to type America in this variable and we're done. We have successfully tested a GraphQL query from Visual Studio Code Editor using Rapid API Client and how amazingly cool is that? It's very simple and doesn't take a lot of time as you can see. Now let's talk about other features of Rapid API Client in my next videos so stay tuned.